Shabbat Shalom on this 28th day of June 2014. It is Saturday and it is the Sabbath day. Welcome to this week's service on the Sabbath. I've titled today's sermon, Watering God's Flowers and Presidential Prayer Teams, Praying for the Leaders of This Country While the Leader of This Country is Freeing Known Terrorist and Active Duty United States Marine is being held in a Mexican prison who's done nothing wrong just crossed the border from the US into Mexico and he is being held one of ours in a Mexican prison and nothing is being done about it and now we have a Mexican military chopper flying across the border into the United States Arizona and opening fire, live firefight, live rounds on U.S. Border Patrol. What is being done about this this morning? Good morning, everyone. We are going to go to announcements very quickly. Join us tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our live Rapture Ready Church over at Tiny Chat. Praise and worship music begins at 6.30. I'll do a video later to update everyone and watch on Facebook. Now, ministry update. Um, this has been a wonderful month. We have been blessed. The last week has been a little tough. Um, we've had nothing come in the ministry since uh, Monday. But for Thursday, Thomas from my neighborhood, Canton, Michigan, sent a precious gift to the ministry of $25 so we can go out and meet the needs and help the homeless. We're going to talk about that. We've got backpacks. So I'm putting together backpacks today. I'm going to show you some of the backpacks here. Okay, there's one. I like this one. We've got quite a few. This one's kind of looks like it's woodsy, outdoorsy. And we got more. We're going to put Bibles. We're going to put uh, uh, personal hygiene products. You can see what I paid for this one. Three dollars. So we're going to put these backpack together with uh, bottled water, some nutritious uh, snacks, and personal hygiene products and for the, the ladies, for the females, some feminine hygiene products. Toothpaste, mouthwash, um, uh, hand sanitizer, and things that they are going to need to be able to make it out in the elements. I want to talk about that just for a quick moment. A lot of people think that the weather is warmer now and uh, they are not out there facing the fierce winter elements. It is very, very hot out. Extremely hot. And uh, many of the homeless are facing dehydration. You got to remember, they're not going to be welcome into uh, a restaurant or a fast food chain to get even a cup of water they usually kick them out I just seen on uh, the news where a Cracker Barrel fired an employee for giving a homeless person just a biscuit and some uh, um, condiments to go with the biscuit they fired him for trying to help a homeless person so they're basically on their own what I want you to do I'm talking about now watering God's flowers. If you can, if you have an extra cooler, a small cooler, keep a cooler in your vehicle with bottled water. And when you see a homeless person, just pull over to the side of the road and give them a bottle of water to help keep them hydrated. Where I live in Holly, Michigan, I am surrounded by state land and by in a wooded area and we have state parks we've got highly state recreational area we've got Oakland County parks we've got seven lakes and what the homeless are doing now they're coming in from the big cities with everything they own and they're trying to find a place to camp out uh, on in the woods and I was with Christy yesterday and we were on Grange Hall Road and there's a homeless gentleman with everything he owns on his bicycle and he was too exhausted to ride the bike any longer and he's 
trying to push the bike and he was barely going to make it. Last night, where I live, off of Dixie Highway, there are no street lights. It's in a uh, rural area. And there was a homeless gentleman with everything he owns, all the clothing, all the items that he owns, tied up on his back. And it must have weighed, I don't know, 100 pounds. And he's walking in the heat. We've got to do something. We've got to make a change. We've got to do something and make a change. If you feel led to give to this ministry, that's what we are doing. We are out there trying to meet the needs of the needy, the homeless. Again, um, it's been a bad week for the ministry. Thursday, I do want to thank Thomas from Canton, Michigan, for his precious gift to the ministry of $25. Let me take you to the book of Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 2. And I want to get your comments on praying for our world leaders. 1 Timothy 2. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty and this is where so many will pull from when they we have these presidential prayer teams praying for the president praying for the world leaders and we should but we are living in the end times I just want your opinion on this we are living in the very end days and Father God Yahweh is the orchestrator of all things he will allow this book, this book and the prophecies contained within to come to pass. I think we need to pray for all people of all nations, not only this nation, but of all nations. But we have to do this with an understanding. We have an evil government with an evil agenda. The Antichrist system is well in place. And are we just talking about the president doing nothing, turning this country into a Muslim nation, not a nation, not one nation under God. We have to understand that it may be Yahweh's will that these things come to pass so prophecy can be fulfilled. So I say let's pray for all the people and pray for our leaders, but throughout history, throughout the Old Testament, Father God, he, it is his will. It is his will. So don't pray that the president is going to change and all these world leaders and the Bildenbergers and the, the Rothschilds are all going to be born again and change. Pray for God's will to be done. Prophecy must be fulfilled. Leave me comments, everyone. What do you think on that? And uh, once again, if you feel led to give, to our homeless ministry. The link will be uh, below. Once again, thank you, Thomas, from Canton, Michigan. I'm not far from Canton. I've been through Canton quite a lot. My neighbor in Canton, Michigan, for a precious gift of $25. God bless you.